Greetings and welcome to session 15 of our journey through John's first letter. Uh, we're at 1 John chapter 3 and verse 19 and it reads like this. By this we shall know that we are of the truth and reassure our heart before him. For whenever our heart condemns us, God is greater than our heart and he knows everything. Beloved, if our heart does not condemn us, we have confidence before God. And whatever we ask, we receive from him, because we keep his commandments and do what pleases him. And this is his commandment, that we believe in the name of his Son, Jesus Christ, and love one another, just as he has commanded us. Whoever keeps his commandments abides in God, and God in him. And by this we know that he abides in us, by the Spirit whom he has given us. Now, right at the outset there, John um, talks about truth. He says that we are of the truth. We shall know that we are of the truth if the things that he talks about following, uh, those uh, conditions are met. And we'll come to those in just a moment. But I just want to talk for a moment about truth. Uh, that truth has to do with uh, the divine communication of God. How do we know that we are of the people who have both received and believed the divine communication from God. In other words, um, the question is not whether something is true or not true. You know, um, uh, these can be simple everyday questions about all sorts of things, but this is something much bigger, much more um, magnificent uh, in its scope that we're talking about the truth which is divinely communicated by God to his people. So we're talking about the scriptures, we're talking um, about the history of the people of God and the way that God has dealt with people and all of that entails. We're talking about the Gospels. We're talking about the communication of the Gospel message and everything that that entails. And we're talking about um, the epistles that seek to explain the Gospel and seek to explain some of our uh, relationship with God and how we should behave and unpack all of those things forward uh, for us. Um, if we are a people of the truth, then we are people who have received that message, received that word, received the Holy Scriptures and acknowledge them for what they are. Um, there's a lot of people who um, have the Scriptures who will want to talk about the Scriptures, who will want to uh, give us all sorts of ideas about the Scriptures, who um, have received them but have not really believed them. And the key thing about knowing that we're of the truth is that we've not just received the Word of God, but that we accept it as the Word of God and we believe it and therefore we uh, endeavour to live our lives in light of it, to, to do basically as it says, which is something that John comes on to uh, in a couple of verses. So when we're talking about truth tonight and being a people of the truth, we're talking about the truth that is found only in God, that he is the truth and that that truth uh, of him is communicated through the Holy Scriptures, and we have received them, and we believe them. And that's what we're talking about tonight when we talk about truth. So I hope you have a great time looking at these verses. I hope you're both blessed and challenged by them. And as always, I'll be back later.